Now this question, 95% of the students, if I tell geometry and mensuration, they will run away. As per the NCRT, CBSC and ICSC textbook, total number of theorems that are present starting from a definition of a line to the last key point of concave cylinder, right, there are total 855 theorems. How many theorems can be by heart? How much? See, I am not a person. See, my memory is in MB, sir. It is not in GB. I cannot memorize anything. Let us look at the question. This is a very beautiful concept, which we ace online, we discuss in detail. The name of the concept is virtual positioning. The name of the concept is virtual positioning. Virtual positioning. Please read this question once. Sharanya has commented why we have to divide 100 by 25. Exactly. If a student like Sharanya is asking a question, why we should divide, that means Sharanya is thinking when the class is in progress. The students who think when the class is in progress are the students who has that little extra edge. I am impressed with the way you have asked why we should divide to answer your question. HCF is a factor of the number. Number is a factor of LCM. So evidently HCF is a factor of LCM. How to define factor? If 2 is a factor of 6, that means 6 will get divided by 2. I hope I answered your question. Sharanya, keep it up, keep moving. Small beginning, incremental improvement, consistency in studying, results will follow. Keep consistency in your preparation. See this question. See this question. Wantonly, I took the questions from various topics. As you can see, this is a question from mensuration. Mensuration, if you see, there are two layers. One is a 2D figure, another is a 3D figure. One is a 2D, another is a 2D. Right? In geometry, we talk about a triangle. Geometry, we talk about a triangle. Now, first to think, when I say a triangle, if I ask you a question, sum of three angles in a triangle, how much it is? Every student will say 180, 180, 180, 180. If I ask you, prove that sum of three angles in a triangle is 180. Sir, proving is something which I am not comfortable, right? That is the reason. See, geometry is nothing but everything in diagrams. Everything is represented in diagrams. If you see here, the simplest proof you have ever seen in any of the textbook is, suppose I took this water bottle. This is the water bottle. Listen carefully, sir. This water bottle is in the form of a cylinder. This has got some water to it. If I shift this water bottle, from this point to this point, will the volume change? Will the volume change if I shift it? Right to no. If I rotate it, if the, will the volume change? So shifting the figure, rotating the figure, the volume will not change. Again, I am repeating. Geometry is all about common sense, sir. Right? Shift the figure or rotate the figure, the volume will not change. Not only the volume, not only the volume, Volume will not change, area will not change, number of integral points will not change. You look at it as a curious student who is not at all good in max, but good in logic. If you ask me how you should look at it is, I will tell two examples, then I will solve the question. Shift this line here, shift this line here. It is a straight line, straight line and angle is 180. In your lifetime, till your last breath, when you become a grandfather also, you can tell your grandchildren, sum of three angles in a triangle is 180, right? Once I said shifting, sir, can I use it in quadrilateral? You can use everywhere. If it is quadrilateral, this is sum of four angles. This is sum of four angles. What I said, if I shift the figure, if I rotate the figure, right, area, nothing will change. If I call it as 1, 2, 3, 4, shift the figure to the top, 2, 1, 3, right? Shift it to the right, 4, 3, shift it to the down, 3. Sum of four angles in a triangle is 360. Sum of four angles in a triangle is 360. Simplest way, the, the entire ACE online SSC CGL course is only with two outcomes. A non-max student should understand the concept. Second thing, the concept which, which we teach should be simple, should be easy, 
and should make a student come closer to the examination keeping that two points in picture see because it's an strategy session we will not be able to discuss everything in detail i, I surely recommend you to write watch a lot of content and decide for yourself right the difference between an experienced and a non experienced right coaching now if you see sir can i use these concept here definitely yes that is the reason i taught these concept please look at this question the first thing that we will do whenever we go through aptitude reasoning verbal gscs we will understand the question properly if you do not understand the root cause of the problem you will create much more problems to the given problem you be a solution seeker a b c d is a square a b c d somebody has given me a tissue paper so this is a square i am a non max teacher my role is non max student should be at the max student this is a square a b c d is a square of side 7 cm okay this side is given 7 the mid points of the side so the mid points it is taken now i'll draw the figure for you sir simplest question no formulas first of all let me clarify you formula is derived from logic logic is not derived from formula formula is the outcome of the logical substitution or a logical way of solving do not go behind formula now see here a b c d is a square a b c d is a square this is the mid points this is the mid points what i did here shifting a figure rotating a figure so what i'll do is this is the mid point where is my tissue paper here is my tissue paper so this is a square what i will do is i will fold the figure along the diagonal i will fold the figure along the diagonal so you take this diagonal this is the diagonal i said fold it along the figure fold it this side connect it kel katham dukan band answer we got right so totally how many right, rectang right angles we got four how many right angles we got four this portion he is asking how many right angles are there out of total right angles 3 out of 8 3 out of 8 so answer for this question is 3 out of 8 again i am saying common sense approach to solve geometry right this is your square i folded it along the diagonals i folded the figure this figure came this side i joined this figure 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 total 8 total 8 right angles came to the one who has from tamil nadu total 8 right angle one 8 8 right angles came right i hope the idea it is clear answer for this question it is 3 by 8 this is a very beautiful concept geometry and mensuration we have given a lot of emphasis in our video classes very easy otherwise you will find this topic tough trust me geometry and mensuration is a dry topic which involves a lot of execution of theorems i hope the concept is clear kindly reply anybody anyone who is watching this live class can ask me any doubts related to the topic that we discussed i will be more than happy to address it either online or offline is the concept clear i hope the idea it is clear